Hello guys, welcome back to Dr. Jax. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create card view using Jetpack Compose in Android Studio. So before starting this video, first of all, let's see a demo what we are going to make. So for this, I have to open my phone. So I open this application, Card View Compose. So you can see it is a simple card view which I created using card view and some text and some images in Android Studio. So we are going to learn how to create this kind of thing in Android Studio using Jetpack Compose UI. So don't further delay, now let's start the video. If you don't like the video till now, then please like the video. If you don't subscribe to the channel till now, then please subscribe to the channel. So now let's start the video. So first of all, open your Android Studio and go to file, click on new, then new project. I am selecting here empty compose activity material 3. You can select this normal one as well. Now give any application name so I just give here car view compose tutorial click on finish so it will create this new project let's wait for a greater build so project build successful and we are ready to write the code so first of all we don't need these composable functions hello world we can remove them we also don't need this surface as well so we can delete this everything so here we can write our own code now first of all I open my previous project and here I am copying this user file pick so that I can use it in my project so inside draw folder I am pasting this so now you can see it is pasted successfully here now let's start writing the code so so first of all if you don't check out my previous video like how to create first project in Jetpack Compose, Compose how to create edit text in Compose so you can watch that video for more clarification so for creating anything we need to create a composable functions so first of all we are going to create a composable function for profile card composable i just skip this function name you can give any name it is your choice now we are showing error because we don't create this function till now so just create this function composable so fun profile card composable now inside this what we need to show we need to take the card So you can see when I try to typing a card, it is not showing. So why it is not showing? Because in sometime Android Studio using the previous version of Compose, so we need to upgrade that that thing as well. So I am just updating my all old dependencies. So you also need to do this thing. So and also I need to update my Compose version as well. So I open my previous project and inside build or gradle project. You can see I am going to use this table version 1.1.4. So I just paste this here. And also you need to change your Kotlin version as well. So I am going to use this Kotlin version 1.6.10. Now click on sync now so it will create sync this project. So now if you type try to type here card, so you can see you are able to see this card function and you can use this. So for creating the card view, we need to take a card here. So just take a card we need to take a modifier as you know if we, we want to modify something then we need to use the modifier then modifier modifier dot dot wrap content size i want to give the size to wrap content then we have to click to make it round from the corner so round corner shape and you can give any so i just give here 4 dp so import this dp as well then dot background so you can set any background it is your choice so i am just setting the color purple 40 which is present inside our colors file here colors.kt then dot at last i am just giving the padding for my content so padding is 16 point dp it is fine so this card is created successfully now inside our card view what we need we need two things one is image and second thing some text so now first of all you can see it is showing error so it say to optim in experimental ipa3 class because jetpack compose is still not stable and all components are not able so we have to use these things as well hope you understand so now inside this what we need we need to use two things one for image and one for our text so that when that both things are placed inside a row so i just take a row here i just want to modify the row so i just take a modifier here modifier dot First of all, let's import this row. So use this compose UI. Then modify. I am just setting the height of the row. Height, intrinsic height size. 
equal intrinsic size dot max that's it now take two things now we need to create two function composer function for our profile pic and for our text so i just type here profile picture composable and why i am typing this i can write the whole code here but it is better to create the function so let us suppose you have multiple card views so you can directly call this that composable functions and one more thing i want to use inside my code so profile content composable press enter just press here composable give the function name profile picture composable that's it and for content as well so this is done so profile picture inside profile picture what we have we have a picture inside our card so for this i need to take a card again then card the shape of this is circle shape first of all take a comma here then type a border then i just want to give a border stroke it is your choice and i just want to give color purple 40 you can use any color then at last what we have we have a modifier to modify this so modifier dot size you can fix the size it is your choice so i just using a 48 point dp then dot padding and also padding 4 dot dp so this is created successfully now inside this what i need inside this i just need a image so painter resource inside painter resource you need to mention your from where you want to pick the image so i just want to use user profile pic you can give the content description as well so i just need to minimize it press enter you can give any content description so i just type in profile then we have a content scale as well so content scale content scale dot crop and at last we have a modifier to modify this so modifier dot size and the size is should be 48. gp now i can use control alt shift l to reformat the code so you can see you are able to see the code clearly and it is also showing error so just use this obtain experiment and material 3 way class so this is also done now we need to just use the content so inside content we have a column because we have a two things one is my name and one is the status so i just take a column here then modify first of all i want to modify this modify dot fill max height then dot padding 6 dot dp you can give any padding it is your choice and at last i am just using here vertical alignment and inside this alignment dot center vertical now inside this what i need i need two text views First text is text size is give the any name here which is Sharma. You can give any name; it is your choice. Then we have something called font weight. So font weight is equals to font weight dot bold. And another text, text. And here I am just typing the just thing active now. So this is done. Now one thing is left. Let us suppose if you try to use this, so it will going to show this card view. just on the top left corner because we don't set the alignment of this card because you can see we directly call this composable function we didn't modify where i want to place this card so i have to write one line here before placing the card so just take a box here then modify dot fill max size then we have something called content alignment so alignment dot center so it will place our card in center so by using this you can place it wherever you want now inside this box scope what i have to do i have to call this composable things so control x and paste this here so our project is ready so instead of my name i am just adding the different text here testing text you can add any let's run this application see whether it is working or not and if it is working fine then we will end this video so you can see our project will successful but it is showing this white color Due to this box, this purple color. So how can I remove this? So I can remove this from my card background. So let's run this again. So if you run this, let's see the difference. So you can see it is working fine. But there is an issue with the padding. So let's fix the padding. Why it is not correct? 
So I just need a padding for my content and for my image. So I just using a padding a dot dp. So let's run this again. So you can see now it is working fine. So I hope guys you learned something new in this video. And why I didn't done this silly mistake because I want to explain how these things are working. So that's why I done this some silly mistakes. So hope you understand how the things working in Compose. So I hope you learned something new. So see you soon in next amazing video. If you have any question, just comment down below. Try to give the like to the video and also subscribe the channel. So thank you guys. See you soon in next amazing video. Thank you.